Ever wondered if Princess Diana died by an accident or by a well-plotted car crash? Or if Bigfoot ever walked on this planet? This world is full of surprises. There are so many mysteries that are unresolved even after decades. So in this video, we'll dig a little deeper and find out all such secrets that have no rational explanation. Let's start with the biggest mystery of all time, the Bermuda Triangle. A place on Earth where you go and simply vanish? That's the Bermuda Triangle for you, located on the southeastern coast of the United States in the Atlantic. Atlantic Ocean between Bermuda, Florida, and Puerto Rico. It is also known as the Devil's Triangle. Over the years, there have been countless stories of ships and planes disappearing in this region. Is the ocean bringing them down, or is there a secret UFO network sucking them right up? So many stories. It all started when Christopher Columbus saw a flame of fire crashing into the sea in the triangle during his first voyage to the New World. But people heard about the Bermuda Triangle for the first time when the Navy cargo ship, the USS Cyclops, with more than 300 people on board went missing in the 20th century. The latest incident in the region was the disappearance of a small twin-engine plane in May of 2021. With four people on board, the plane suddenly disappeared from the radar, and the debris from the missing plane was found later. There are countless theories of paranormal activities to explain this, but scientists being scientists have discarded all of them. There must be a rational explanation for all of this, and for scientists, it's the electromagnetic interference that causes compass problems. This theory claims that there's a very high pull of the Earth natural magnet, which redirects the compass, and ships and planes cannot take their intended route through the waters. This theory still doesn't offer a concrete explanation. Many still believe that there's nothing odd, as most of the incidents were inaccurately reported or overhyped. Also, do you know the latest news? A travel agency is offering a full refund if the ship disappears in the Bermuda Triangle. As crazy as it may sound, it's actually true. On its website, the Ancient Mysteries Cruise says, don't worry about disappearing on this Bermuda Triangle tour. The tour has a 100% return turn rate and your money will be refunded in case you disappear. The daredevil passengers who sign up for this trip will undertake their journey from New York to Bermuda in March of next year. Also, let's suppose the passengers do disappear. Can we accept refunds on their behalf? Next, we have Jack the Ripper. In 1888, five women were killed and their bodies mutilated afterwards. The police received several letters challenging them to find a person named Ripper. People believe that someone named Jack wrote these letters who was himself involved in this. This person was never found. Several persons were brought in by the police, but none was proved to be guilty. In his 2012 book, Jack the Ripper, The Hand of a Woman, written by John Morris, it says that Jack the Ripper was a woman. Other experts don't agree with him. As for us, we just want to say one thing. We don't want Gotham City-like crimes in real life. If there are no answers to how they happened, because frankly, we don't have a Batman. And now for Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa, the mastermind behind several organized crimes, didn't wake up one day and say, time to disappear, or maybe he did. All we know is that he disappeared in Oakland County, Michigan on July 30th, 1975, and was considered dead. The mystery isn't whether he died or not. The secret lies in the fact that his body disappeared because police couldn't discover it despite several attempts. Of course, many theories and confessions emerged, one being of a landfill worker who, on his deathbed, said that he and his father were paid to bury Jimmy's body in a steel barrel under the dump. Police couldn't find the said steel barrel. Not only his body, but his killer could also not be captured. Richard the Iceman Kalinsky, a hitman, took responsibility for the death of Jimmy Hoffa on his his deathbed. He was visited by an author in jail before he wrote a book on his confessions. Those confessions are not considered credible by the police, and so the mystery continues. Up next is Cleopatra's tomb. No childhood cartoon would ever be complete without the tales of Cleopatra. Her beauty has always been discussed over the years. Apart from that, it's also a commonly held idea that she and her lover Mark Antony were buried together in a tomb after their deaths in 30 BC. But were they? Historians wrote that the said tomb was located near the tomb of the Egyptian goddess Isis and was filled filled with gold, silver, emeralds, and etc. But in 2010, Egypt's former antiquities minister, Zahi Hawass, excavated the site where several tombs were built and where Cleopatra VII ruled. The excavation was fruitful as many antiques were discovered, but Cleopatra's tomb was not among them. Which just leaves us with one question. What's the story behind Cleopatra's burial? Time for a big one. Who killed John F. Kennedy? American presidents and assassinations. When is this going to stop? President John F. Kennedy was shot in Dallas on November 22nd, 1960 by Lee Harvey Oswald. We're just saying the name that's on paper because many believe that Harvey wasn't the only one shooting. Harvey was to face the court after that, but even before he could face court, he was killed by nightclub owner Jack Ruby on November 24th, 1963. Guess why? Because he didn't want Jacqueline Kennedy to suffer seeing Harvey in court. Ruby afterward died of lung cancer on January 3rd, 1967. Till now, we were only stating the facts that were on paper. But you know, the bigger the person, the more theories about his death are. To this day, theorists 
activists love to argue on this topic without concluding, but to the police, this case is closed. Now onto the money pit in Oak Island. Money pit? God, please let this be true. Please, please. It's been two centuries and people can't stop talking about a pit in Oak Island that spits money. There are reports that a pirate named Captain William Kidd buried his treasure there. You know, pirates and their urge to bury their treasures. Where there's any remote talk about hidden treasure, there's always an expedition to find that treasure even if that costs millions. The expeditions continue to this day, to no avail. A TV channel even jumped on the bandwagon and made a show called The Curse of Oak Island, which shows a modern-day expedition in that area. In 2016, the show is renewed for its fourth season. Let's discuss the search for the Holy Grail. Dan Brown's characters might have succeeded in their search for the Holy Grail, but the reality is far from it. The cup that Jesus last drank from at his Last Supper with his disciples is called the Holy Grail. That cup has never been found in numerous quests over the centuries, and we've no hope that someone will find it in the future. It is said that King Arthur also failed in his quest to find it. After so many failures and attempts to find the goblet over the centuries, the Holy Grail is now used the same way in fiction as the Wild Goose Chase. Next, we have the city of Atlantis. It all started in the 4th century BC when Plato woke up one day and decided that yes, it was a good day to give the world a mystery. Plato told a story about a land named Atlantis that existed in the Atlantic Ocean. No surprise there. Come on, Plato. Would it have killed you to be a little more creative? In his story, Plato said that the people of Atlantis conquered much of Europe and Africa, but in their attempt to capture Athens, Athenians fought them and caused the city of Atlantis to vanish beneath the waves. Turns out that except for the writers of Aquaman, no one believed this story, and scholars said that it's inspired by events that happened in Greece. Many people believed that the Minoan civilization that lived on the island of Crete that's in the Mediterranean inspired this story as that island suffered damage due to volcanic eruption. Which brings us to the real question. Was there ever a city of Atlantis, or is this just a made-up story so Aquaman could do business? Finally, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Ancient writers couldn't stop raving about a garden that was constructed in Babylon, which is modern-day Iraq. Writers went as far as to call it a wonder of the world. In their accounts, the garden is described as a place where plants were cultivated at a height above ground level and their roots were not buried in the soil but on the upper terrace. So far, archaeologists who dug that place found no clue of such a garden. This brings us to the question, was there ever such a garden or were the writers just describing heaven? If there was, how come no one found a clue of its existence? How did the garden vanish? Stephanie Daly, a researcher at the University of Oxford, came up with a new theory in her book in 2013. She said that the garden was actually in the Assyrian city of Nineveh and not Babylon. But since over the past years, both Babylon and Nineveh have suffered damage because of wars, we don't have any hope that this mystery will get an answer. And that's a wrap for this video. So, what did you think about these secrets? Which one fascinates you the most? Do let us know in the comments below, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and click the subscribe button for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.